I am trying through my art to make a statement about the times in which I live, and I hope I am understood. I am constantly trying to express myself better. I am doing what I am doing because I am trying to be worthy of my being. The Wall was built in the summer of 1967. It was produced by 20 different artists. The name of the artist was called the Obasi. We grew up on 43rd and Champlain, around the corner from the Wall of Respect. Aretha Franklin wailing for R-E-S-P-E-C-T from the restaurant Jukebox. The candy store with huge jars of cookies and penny candy. Back in the day, the block was lively, full of people. The wall was the backdrop of our childhood an ever-present symbol of pride. My mother, Florence Hawkins, helped paint the sports section. She wanted to paint something relevant in her neighborhood. Little did she know that she'd become a part of history. Four figures, two male, two female, clearly representing different races or people from different parts of the world. And the fact that he did that in the midst of Cabrini Green in 1973-74 said to me that he had a vision of the unity of mankind that we're still struggling with today. With 2017 marking the 50th anniversary of the Wall of Respect, Bill Walker's work is garnering a wider audience with exhibitions and new scholarship. Bill Walker believed in the power of truth to save mankind from its own destruction. Given the current political climate, there's no better time to share this important body of work. With Bill Walker, Urban Griot, we hope to build upon Walker's legacy to inspire a new generation of socially engaged artists and scholars.